Protect your pet. Now is the time. The par parasite forecast is in, and the nation's leading parasite experts give us tips to protect our pets. We're happy to welcome Dr. Karen Fling and Rick Merritson to the show. Good morning to you both. So great to have you on. Good morning. Good morning. Now, of course, we want to protect our pets, our furry family members, but when it comes to these diseases, what are they and what should we be on the lookout for? Well, let's start off talking about heartworms because Florida has long been the hotbed for heartworms. Uh, this is a disease carried from pet to pet by mosquitoes. It can infect both dogs and cats. It is an actual worm up to 16 inches long. It's a horrible, horrible disease. The good news is it's very easily preventable. All you have to do is see your veterinarian every year, get your pet tested, and stay on the medication all year round. These medications are safe, they are effective, and they are affordable. So there's really no excuse for not protecting your pet. Yeah, that, uh, I think that's such great advice for us Floridians here because those mosquitoes are a problem. And like you said, it's something that we can do as simple as taking them into the vet and getting, uh, getting them cared for. What else should we be looking out for? Well, besides things carried by mosquitoes like heartworm, we're also concerned about problems related to ticks. And ticks can vector diseases such as uh, Lyme disease, such as anaplasmosis, Ehrlichia, and we're predicting a rise in all of these diseases. And when we talk about these tick-borne diseases, very often these are diseases that not only affect the family pet, but they can affect the family as well. So preventing these diseases before they even take hold is so very important. And a lot of people are, you know, we have a lot of snowbirds here in Florida. People are constantly traveling in and out. If they're not doing that, they're going to one of our other paradise locations for road trips. What do we need to know about traveling with our pets? Yeah, so I'm sure the Fort Myers area has a lot of those transient uh, coming down in the wintertime. And these people are traveling down from the northeast, places where diseases like Lyme disease are rampant. Uh, very often these diseases can be present for a period of time before there's ever any symptoms. And so it's always difficult to tell even where your animal was infected, where they've caught these things. So no matter where you are, if you're in South Florida, if you're in the northeast, if you're way out west, it is staying on your parasite prevention becomes the key. Don't wait until there's an infection. Keep your pet protected. Yeah, very interesting. And what about that parasite forecast? How do you guys create that? The forecast is created with a bunch of data. Temperature, uh, humidity, population density, positive tests that have been reported to national laboratories. And all of this information is fed into a very complicated mathematical algorithm, generates these maps. The science is very much like how we use to predict hurricanes. So certainly Floridians are very, very familiar with what it's like when we get to hurricane season. This is parasite season for us. And so we want the parents, uh, pet parents to be aware of what these risks are and to be prepared. And how do you be prepared? You know, you mentioned Lyme disease, and uh, my, my Border Collie actually has Lyme disease, and I was shocked at the, the ticks that I saw oh when we lo relocated to Florida. But what do people need to know about that, or what should they be concerned with uh, as a takeaway here? What's maybe the one thing you can tell us as we close here for them to, to be on the lookout for? Well, uh, the the takeaway with Lyme disease is not to assume that it, it won't be in your neighborhood. I'm actually from the Dallas area and we've seen that even in Dallas Lyme disease is on the rise and sometimes there's only about 10 percent of dogs that will show symptoms of the Lyme disease which may include arthritic symptoms, flu-like symptoms, uh, those sorts of bony joint achy sort of problems but oftentimes there are no symptoms so seeing the pet's doctor is is the most important thing you can do to be tested and also protected. Yeah, that and in the... doing so, you're going to keep your family safe too. Absolutely. Thank you both so much. Any one website you'd like to leave us with as we go here? Yeah, pet owners should go to petsandparasites.org. That's petsandparasites.org. Tons of information about how to protect your pet, how to be aware of what diseases you're at risk of. Dr. Fling and Dr. Marison, thank you both so much. And if you'd like to learn more about what they spoke about, head online, check us out at fox4morningblend.com.